Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize the social media poster to schedule social media posts within SEMrush. And it's a really great way to actually schedule posts all in one. It's under the tab under social media and you'll see a section called social media poster. And then in your drop down, you want to click on your, your client account. And you can see the ones that are actually scheduled. You can see which ones have posted properly, which ones haven't. When you want to connect your, when you see these arrows, it's usually because it, the social media platform got disconnected to, to SMRush, and so you have to enable access again. When you go into the settings section, this is where you can actually add profiles. And so you can actually connect you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Business Profile, and Pinterest. And essentially, this is where you can actually connect your social media accounts to your SEMrush account. I usually turn off shortened links so then I can see, so I can have the full links. If you have it shortened, you can actually have it tracked. And so there's benefits to doing both. But in this particular client's case, I like to link directly to the account. And sometimes too, when you see social media posts and it's got like a bitly shortened link, people are less likely to click on that because they don't want to get tracked, right? And so what we normally have in addition to this platform where we're posting it is we actually have a social media calendar where we had populated at least a month's out worth of content. And then we, you know, some, some of our clients want to approve the content before we push it through. But, and then also too, you want to have a folder with your images also so that you can easily add those images accordingly to your to your social media posts and so I'm going to be utilizing the social media calendar along with this to populate through the content and and before we were posting two times a week three times a week and so we want to continue that we actually found a lot of good success posting at 8 a.m. so that's what we want to do and so I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus button for that particular for that particular day, I want to select all the accounts, as you can see. And then I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste from the social media calendar to this particular post. And I want to make sure that I have the right. Let's see here. I want to make sure that I have the right image for this particular Oh, it looks like I don't have it downloaded, so I'm just going to go ahead and download it so that I have it. Okay, so I'm going to click on the image, upload image here. You can actually just drop it in there as well. You can see that it's quite easy to do. And you can see that Twitter, it gives you a warning saying that it is over the character limit. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Twitter post and then I'm gonna clean it up like that. And then what I also wanna do is for the, for the um, Google Business Profile, you can actually add the link like so. And these should already populate through LinkedIn and Pinterest. And it's going to the, when you set up the Pinterest, make sure you set up a board first and then connect the board to the Pinterest account. And yeah, I think we're good to go. So August 1st, we're gonna post at 8 a.m. You can actually see when it's had the most traction. And so I actually just kind of post it, you know, a few, you know, around that time period, and then it'll continue to get traction going forward. So I'm gonna schedule that, pretty easy to do. If there was an issue, it'll actually tell you. Uh, I want to post on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Like so, and then what is the image for this one? This is the sunglasses one. I believe it's this one. Looks good. 
you can actually preview it, you know, and all, this is what it will look like for each of the accounts, right? And you can see how where it is in the calendar. So if you're not sure of the day, then you know you, you can you can upload it that way. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and also add that learn more button to there. And you can see Twitter is also has an issue. The the, the places where I ha have where I actually see the most issues are around the character limit and also sometimes the sizing of the of the image for Instagram. You have to just crop it. And so um, I want to make sure that this is going out on let's see here on the th Thursday, All right? Like so. So let's schedule that quarterly. So, and then we're going to do one for the Friday. This one is for BC Day. Okay. BC Day 2023 is on the 7th, Monday. So let's add, right, doo -doo -doo. let's add the image here. Looks really, really good, right, guys? Let's add that image. Sorry, the link to Google Business Profile. Everything else looks pretty good. And I'm going to aim for 8 a.m. Schedule that. So you can see here the Instagram, it giving me an error about the fact that the image sizing isn't key so it isn't working so you want to customize click on one of these links where you have to update it and so click on this pencil button so you can actually crop it click on the transform button and then I want to do it for an Instagram portrait like so and bringing this looks pretty good save that and hopefully that'll work So it looks like there's a bit of a lag here. All right, I'm just gonna refresh this because it's taking a little bit longer than. Okay, looks like it didn't. Go through. Oh, looks like it like it looks like it did. Let's well, let's just see. Oh yeah, it didn't it didn't save through unfortunately. So let's let's try that again. Um, let's do that. So let's try a different crop. Let's try the square version like that, which looks pretty good. Looks like that should be processing through. Perfect. Okay, great. So let's schedule this at 8 a.m. Looks good. All right, so now we're going to continue on to August and I want to do a few more here. So we'll do Tuesday. You can actually see when you copy and paste, sometimes it, it has those quotations. So you want to just remove that. Uh, I don't want to make that part of the, the thing here. So uh, this one is a video. So hopefully this one will go through. Let's see. I'm going to add the link. Google Business Profile. I want to fix Twitter. Oh, looks like it went through. Nice. Looks really, really good, right, guys? 
Okay, so let's do this at 8 a.m. This is actually for the 7th because that's when BC Day is. And so I'm just going to schedule that. Hopefully that goes through. Actually, there's an issue. You can publish no videos on Google Business Profile. So Google Business Profile, I want to remove that video. And then I'm going to add an image. For that. Nice. That's good. Let's save that. On Pinterest also. So let's go to Pinterest and remove that video and add the image. That looks good. Awesome. Okay, great. So now that we have that, let's continue to add a bit more here. We're going to add one for This time let's try Wednesday. And this one is going to grab that image. There we go. Pretty good. Just kind of finish, fix the character count for Twitter. Okay, let's fix the Instagram photo. Awesome. Schedule that. And then I'll sh let's do one for Friday. So this one is going to the Prana. Okay. Let's add the first tracks, Doors Club link and we're gonna do this for 8 a.m. We're gonna fix the crop all right so that should give you guys a pretty good take on how to schedule social media posts using SMrush. Really great tool to schedule your posts and just really helps to automate a lot of things and you can utilize your time in a very efficient manner. And yeah, hope that this video was helpful. Thank you guys all very much for watching and until next time, have a great day everybody. Bye.